Well, I think there's a couple couple ways to disaggregate that. First, you have different threat priorities and different threat perceptions. And so that's one set of differences where, you know, for the United States and probably other Western countries that have prioritized the kinds of material that they're most concerned about, you know, if a terrorist got a hold of highly enriched uranium or plutonium, could construct a, an improvised nuclear device and explode it in a large city, I mean, that's, a, that's an order of magnitude more dangerous or more threatening to us as we see it um, just because of the kinds of consequences that you're talking about. Other countries, perhaps they don't perceive the same level of threat. They're more concerned about, for instance, radiological materials, much more ubiquitous because of their use in medical, agricultural, industry, mining, you know, all sorts of applications. And perhaps they see a uh, need for more priority give, to, to be given to radiological materials. So you see actually now the agenda for the Seoul Summit a little bit more broad because of some of those differences. Um, so that's, that's one set of differences. Now, I, I think that there are other countries that have uh, a different reason for engaging in the Nuclear Security Summit. I'm thinking in particular of India and Pakistan and Israel. These are countries that are not part of the Non-Proliferation Treaty. Um, and so this summit provides them an opportunity to engage with the international community on nuclear issues, sort of free of the politics uh, that come with that. That said, there are other countries who think that any discussion of nuclear issues ought to have some discussion about disarmament and uh, that, that whole set of issues. This isn't quite the right forum for that, the way it's constructed, um, and yet other, I think some of those countries do want to bring those issues up.